Hello everybody, Dan Janes again, DPJ Fabricating. Working with the 68 to 82 Corvette shifter again today. I had a customer ask for a reverse pattern three speed to be able to slap shift it. I just finished the three and four speed normal patterns recently. So the three speed reverse pattern has always been what I did afterwards. And went ahead and made this one, designed it yesterday, had the sample prototype made for it by I did it by hand yesterday this one I just finished a little bit ago it's it's the thicker metal ready to be used um, this one just like the other shifters I have the slap shifting detents I have you can slap it from first to second second to third without squeezing the handle the button the knob on top nothing needed there you just slap the shifter I'm in first gear because this is a reverse pattern it's in first gear there. I'm going to slap it back to second. You can see it hit the stop there at second gear. I'm going to go ahead and go back to third. Second to third, just like all my others. Doesn't matter what speed you go forward or back with. For second to third. There's second gear. Go back to first. But have just a little bit of speed. If you go real slow from first to second, that's why I'm going to pull it slowly now. This one's pretty stiffer. It's pretty stiff, so it works better. Some of them will go from first to third if you're not careful, but this one, first gear, second gear, third gear. Very simple, easy to use. Uh, just like the other two, the three speed and the four speed normal pattern, you have to cut away part of the metal. As you can see, here's the piece I cut off out of the original detent. These are heat treated from the factory. This piece, original detent plate is so hard you won't be able to cut it with a hacksaw or anything. You'll have to use a cutoff wheel. The little eighth inch cutoff wheel takes care of it real quick. Uh, you can see this surface in the back here. You want to make sure this is original surface. I didn't do anything with it. You can see the color of it. It's not changed. This is the part where it came forward. I just made this surface flush with this in the bottom. You need to do that so when your pawl comes back, it goes all the way back far enough to be for the transmission to be solidly in third gear with the reverse pattern. It's not an issue with the, the three and four speed ones. They can actually have a little bit of a lip like there is up here on the front of this one. Not a problem with them because the, uh, the pawl will be down lower on this part. It won't touch up here. But with the reverse pattern, the pawl is up higher all the way back in third gear. Um, these will need to be tack welded, spot welded, I should say. I would spot weld it here and here. Same thing in the front. When you bout these, all you do is get the front surface uh, flush and then get the tops flush and clamp it in place. If you got to adjust it a little bit, loosen one clamp or the other and bump it around, whatever you need to do to to get things flush there. Don't worry so much about the back of it. You only need to get the front of it, get your that gets your park position located correctly. And uh, once you get it clamped in place, test it a few times. This one's very easy to adjust. There was hardly any issue at all with it. It's just just get them flush, like I said, and it works great. The once you get it clamped in place, test it a few times. Do your spot welds, and that's all there is to it. Put a little bit of grease on it. You can probably see I got a little bit of grease on this one. But uh, this one's ready to go out and be heat treated, and it'll be ready for sale in a couple days. Thank you, everyone.